Hello you cool cats, this is Mina and welcome back to another episode of Ultra Despair Girls. So we are now leaving the secret base of the adults. Um it's been a little bit. You said to go the opposite way from where we came. Opposite way. I see a sparkle over there. Um We're supposed to head the opposite way, right? How bad is your sense of direction? How about you know? Pretty bad. Tell me. Making sure that I didn't miss anything. All right, sparkle. If you're not careful with my little sister's sixth sense, the world may end. So we must be very careful in how we treat her. What? Wataruko Sumichi, the meaning of my life, the guidepost of my life, the world itself in my eyes. If it's for the sake of Wadariko, I don't even mind sacrificing my own life. That's what I believed until yesterday. When I woke up that morning, Wataruko was roaming through the house, bending all the spoons. But can't she bend the very fate of the world? The world's best sci-fi love comedy, first volume. She's gonna, yeah. <laughs> I had a feeling that Fuko was really gonna comment about this. <clears throat> this is it. This is number one. Hmm? What do you mean, number one? This is not funny at all. Of all the books in the world, this profuse, known as light novels, is my number one most hated thing. No, take it back. Light novels shouldn't even be counted as books. They are literally waste paper. No, not even. I wouldn't even wipe my ass with this. Light novels are the worst waste of paper ever. Um... Well, I obviously don't read them either, but surely some of them aren't so bad? They say that tastes grow over time, so maybe if you give it another shot? Don't mess with me! You couldn't pay me to give light novels another shot! <laughs> That's a pretty thorough hatred you have there. You said you don't read them either, right? That makes me think that maybe for the first time I can see you as a human being. What, what did you see me as before? And? So, what kind of literature do you fancy? Postmodernism? Romanticism? You better not tell me you like Victorian novels with a straight face. Um. Um, I don't really know how it's classified. I'm really just into manga. <laughs> manga? That's not literature, it's not even a novel! Well, it is a graphic novel, and there's tons of different kinds. You should try reading one. <sighs> Collaborations from failed storyboard artists and English major dropouts? No thanks. Manga's a waste of resources, too. Just like light novels. Maybe worse. Hey! You can't make fun of me all you want. But if you make fun of manga, you've crossed the line. I won't forgive you. Where did all this passion come from? Jeez! Well, I mean, reading manga is like my only hobby. I'm proud of the fact I'm well read. You don't like it when people make fun of stuff you think is important, right? Don't mess with me! Don't you dare talk about novels in your little picture books as if they're on the same level. Hmm. And you say you're more well read than others. I bet that means you only read like one a week. I see through you. You're just a self-declared otaku. Uh, For a high school girl, one a week is a lot. I have to buy them with my allowance after all. And what's important is the quality, not the quantity. It's about your love of the medium. You know what I think? I think your mind is trying to protect itself from that garbage. You're subconsciously only allowing yourself to read one a week. Two would probably kill you. You're so frustrating. No one makes fun of manga. You're making fun of me for not reading a lot of them just because I refuse to buy used? Hmm. Yeah, your love of terrible manga is so gross. That's not it! They're not terrible! What's going on? Fine, but you're still gross. had no meaning on uh, on the story but I I like that 
It's the little things like that that I'm enjoying the most about this game. Um, the the character building between Toko and um, Kamaru. It's almost like this game's more about their friendship than the it looks, looks like we can get out if we climb that ladder. <sighs> Finally, at long last. I feel like I should have seen sparkles. Do you ever get that feeling that you've missed something? I've got a worrying feeling that I missed something. Oh. Get out of here, are you. Okay, did I miss some sparkles? No? Alright. Oh! This place is a graveyard. Yo, what a clashing of colors. Looks like it. It doesn't just look like it. It's clearly a graveyard. This whole town is basically a graveyard anyway. At least this place buried the bodies. That's not the problem. I've had the ability to see ghosts ever since I was a kid. What? Oh, really? <laughs> if you like the occult, I know just the guy you should meet. <laughs> He's even more of an idiot than you. You'd really hit it off. What do you say? Well, first we have to get out of here. This this place is creepy. All right, let's make sure I don't miss anything because the clashing of colors here is <gasps> sparkle. I don't even remember how many kids I've found so far. I've forgotten. Okay, just make sure I don't miss any sparkles. Because I feel like this is going to be really easy to miss one. Oh, Jesus. Well, this is quite a colorful street. I'm sure some pretty girl designed it. What does that mean? I found one of the hidden kids. I feel like they wouldn't immediately put a hidden kid here. There's some adult cowering over here. Um. Uh, um. Are you okay? <laughs> My options are okay and not okay. I'm pretty friggin' far from okay. <laughs> well, we're not exactly okay either. I don't think a single adult in this town is okay. Maybe, but that doesn't make me feel any better. Never expected something like this. Been living here ten years. Ten years? You're from here? Then do you know why the children are acting like this? Who knows? Don't have a friggin' clue. But I know what they've done. They, those kids, they killed my family. I made a diorama with those bones. Oh, he said bodies, didn't he? Blah. <laughs> hey. Can you imagine it? Seeing your family's bodies nailed to a wall, necks fixed in a position with a wire, and knowing you just you just have to hide and watch them do it. You can't imagine it, can you? That's fine. That's normal. You shouldn't have to imagine something like that your whole damn life. Shit. So why? Why me? Wish I could be normal again. Wish I hadn't seen it. What did I do? What did I do to deserve this? Even Toka couldn't find a word, word to say there. No snark from her mouth. That must be Toa Tower. Where? Oh, that. <laughs> is it like the kids design this stuff? This it is looks a long... like we can just walk along the riverside. Yeah, this is a long hallway of nothing. I'm a little. Oh. I'm gonna need this. Drop them in the river for efficiency. Precision shot. 
Increases the laser sight move speed significantly. Slight slightly. Decreases the move slightly. I don't... I don't think I need to change it. Yeah, it moves at a good speed already. I'm still feeling pretty nervous about this long extended hallway of nothing. Looks like something might come out of those doors, actually. Ah! Where? Did you fake me out? I thought for sure something was gonna come out of there. There's some weird machine lying here. For a world famous IT organization, Toa sure likes to make weird crap. Oh, Toa made this? Another tutorial for you. This device is a hologram projector TV built by the Scavenging Toa's technology. Built by Scavenging Toa's technology. Okay. If you turn it on, a video of the child will appear. Perhaps the kids modified it. It appears the Monokumas love modern technology because they are drawn to it. But this unit doesn't emit any sound, so only enemies who can see it will react to it. By utilizing this special ability, I bet you can wipe out the enemy in one blow. If you haven't figured it already out, turn it on with move. Use the hologram TV skillfully to progress forward. Why don't we give moving that a try? Amazing! A hologram! Look, Togo holograms! Jeez, you're awfully excited. Come down, woman. You gotta attack the shield one from behind. Like they're hooked on that thing. There we go. Okay, what's going on with these pictures? They're done in a story. So it looks like that's Monica next to a mushroom. And a deer next to a mushroom. Then a witch giving Monica an apple. And I'm guessing that's Nagisa on a prince's horse, like a, as a prince on a horse going to see Monica. So this is like Snow White. Oh, there it was. There was a little sparkle hiding here. Oh my gosh, the bomb inside her too. <laughs> Worried about the bomb inside her body that will explode if she falls in love. Yumi Kayakuda continues to keep her distance from Shota, but even she can't keep her heart from longing for the forceful Shota. Whenever she realizes she is falling in love, she asks Shota to bully her to keep the flames of her passion away from her bomb. However, one day, while she was getting bullied by Shota in the classroom after school as usual, the transfer student Tokiko Koriyama, whose light of life goes dark whenever the feeling of love vanishes, steps in. If I can't be in love, I'd rather die. Beware the carbon dioxide poisoning of life in the second volume of the Steamy Tour Love Story. Amazing! Hey, the second volume of the Bomb series! Yoko Koriyama, the new girl, is so cute! D didn't I tell you I'm not interested in this film? Oh, come on, don't say that. You should at least try reading one. The final date scene from the volume is so good. I've con it's considered a masterpiece of manga history. <sighs> A masterpiece of crap is still crap. But... But speaking of dates, this area seems like a pretty good spot for a date with Master Byakia. Minus the Monokumas, obviously. You're right! Yeah, it'd be nice for a couple to walk on the shore and eat sweets hand in hand. I'd want a date like that for my first time. Huh? <laughs> I took you for some sleazy tramp who just acts innocent. You really don't have any experience? Of course not, yes! <laughs> well, which is it? Uh, I totally have experience, lots of it, too many to count with both hands. I flip through attractive boys like a pages of manga. Hmm. Then you are just putting on an act. 
You don't look like it, but you're a poisonous little succubus on the inside. Oh. Uh, well, no, maybe not that bad. Nothing. No, really. If you're gonna be a slut, you should at least be proud of it. Sorry. Uh, okay, I lied. I don't have any experience. What? Why would you lie about that? Oh, well, I didn't want you to make fun of me. Your views on sex are about a quarter of a century old. Only, only the most narrow-minded vermin measure a person's worth by their sexual experience. Well, even though I never actually went on a date, I have been asked out before. So you turned them down? <laughs> yeah, because they were all my friend's exes, or like, guys older than my dad. <laughs> I can see that. The aura that really pulls in the lecherous types is just bursting out of you. Ten years from now, you'll probably be sold off to cover some low-life gambling debt. Stop it! Stop that! Don't say it or it might come true! Well, what can I say? You've got a face that ugly guys just love. The kind of face that makes them think, even I have a chance with her. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks, Toko. I'll remember that. Uh, I don't know why I'm not offended more by Toko. I think it's because Toko is weird enough and anything she says can be discredited very easily because of how she is. I guess I'm just, it's really hard for me to be insulted. I don't know. That's a weird way of looking at it. Alright, what are you guys looking at? Some dead bodies. Kids are weird. What is going on with these monokumas? I'm missing some sparkles. Come on. Let me just let me just take a quick look around. I am so scared of missing stuff. Especially this empty area. run up against this wall so that way if there was something I was supposed to click, I'll see it. Hmm. Oh my god. That's where you were? Oh, hmm. screw you. Nothing. It's that arcade machine again. <laughs> Monokuma with the shield again. I just have to hit it from behind, right? I use move and knock back. Okay, I know what I'm supposed to do here. This one's easy. this place say okay um so this is Cinderella I'm guessing yeah 
yeah. She's dancing with Masaru. Is that uh um Kameda finding her shoe and putting it on? I hear the clicking of feet. Sparkle here. Memoirs of Jotaro Kimberi. <laughs> the faces of the demons when I'm hunting them is seriously always the best. The very top of the warmed milk is always gooey. When a demon is up against the wall, they always clench their teeth or open their lips slowly, but in the end, when I kill them, they always open their lips and shudder like crazy. Anyway, the sound of the bell that rings when you enter a store is so cute sounding, right? People who make those things must have a bad personality. People who make pretty or cute things have bad attitudes. On the other hand, I don't make pretty things. I make horrible dioramas, but my face and my personality is horrible too. Am I the only one whose tummy hurts when they smell rice from a rice cooker? I always knew it. It's always best to attack from both sides when hunting demons. That way, even if they go left or right or go back, they always end up getting killed. The moment when they fall into despair and know they're going to die is really always splendid. Weird ass kid. Pardon my French. Toko, we're almost at Toa Tower! She doesn't seem too thrilled about it. I don't get it. She makes... Does, does she not really, like, I don't get it. Does she not really work for her future foundation? That's just a dead body. With her legs sticking out. So this is Toa Tower. It's amazingly huge once you see it close up. Huge is, is good. It's as if I'm being looked down on. Makes me all tingly. Just as I thought. You are definitely a strange one. <laughs> um. Oh, you found me. I put so much work into this disguise, though. <laughs> Really? <laughs> I am such a coward. So cowardly, I have to resort to superior numbers just to beat up girls. Do you hate me now? <laughs> if you say you hate me, I'll turn you into a splendid diorama. As the little ultimate art, I'll put every bit of my skill into it. Lesson. Well, before you do, let's do something about these Monokumas first. Toko, are you okay? Who knows? Better not be dead without realizing this. Monokumas everywhere. Time to break their gestalt wide open. Until I see my parrots in Makoto, I can't die yet! Just a little more! Oh my god, how many of there are of you? There's no more, right? That's all of them? 
like that gross looking grad is gone too. He must have gotten away in all the confusion. He better not be waiting for us inside. I hope there's an elevator inside. Hey, don't you think this was that white Monokuma's trap? No way! Shirakuma wouldn't do that! Either way, this is definitely dangerous. Are you sure you want to do this? I mean, there's no place to go even if we turn back. And I don't know what else to do. So, if that's the case, the only thing we can do is move forward. <laughs> A pessimistic optimist. But why do you look like you don't want to do this? Yeah. <laughs> well, what do you mean? I mean, you don't look like you want to go to Toa Tower. Are you worried about something? It's not like that. You're just thinking too much. I hope so. Yeah, it seems bizarre. Okay, good. The coins are still there. Ah, I want them. And it does feel like Toko's hiding something. I don't know what it could be. And I don't know if it's because I'm stupid and I don't know what it could be, or... Okay, so there's nothing hidden. I don't know if it's stupid that I don't know what it could be, or if it's just, uh, it hasn't been made plain obvious, but it seems like something's wrong with coming to this tower. Was this place a sightseeing spot? It's usually the country bumpkins who visit towers like this. That's the kind of remark that will make you a lot of enemies fast. Anyway, we gotta try to communicate from a high place to get above the jamming waves, right? So let's try going all the way to the top. See? If we use that elevator, we should be able to make it to the top in no time, right? Like it's gonna be that easy. Right? <laughs> 